Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Heyday. And today's video is going to be heading on over to a level 327 and we're going to check out Nudie. Now there's one aspect of her farm design that I really really like and when I first saw it I thought I've got to make a video of it and then basically show you guys what it looks like and then maybe if you have the resources you can give it a go. Now it's just off to the actual right hand side here and it is really really large so I'm going to come in from this position here and as I slide downwards you'll actually be able to see all of the design in basically one go. So we're going to zoom in and slide down at the same time. So there you go. Now as we slide on down and zoom in you'll see this beautiful tree style design. Look at that. Now doesn't that look lovely? Now if you are a lower level player I'm afraid your chances of actually making this design are going to be few and you're not going to, have to do this for a long time because each of these statues is up in the million coin mark. So you are going to need to be a player that actually has been playing for some time, has gone through the the ability to get a lot of coins and is looking to spend them. So if you are a player that is very much inclined towards spending your gold coins on decoration, this is a gorgeous design. I like the way that they're actually using the trees here as a border effect. You've got those beautiful colored trees that came with the diamond purchase packs and then later with some of the derby prizes as well. Uh, I must admit that the wisteria tree there hanging down has to be my favorite. Living here in Japan, the wisteria forest that we've got here is gorgeous. But in this case, this design uses the Valentine's Cupid statues as well. So when it comes around to Valentine's, make sure you do grab some as well, because they can be very, very nice within the design. You've got the fireplaces there, you've got some dirt track pieces used within the design if you're looking there just at the back to give it a little bit of a, a, a deeper feel there as well. So it blends in really nicely and I like it. As we scroll on down again, you can see more of those golden statues, you can see more of the dirt path pieces there. We've even got some dogs in there walking around, so hello little doggies. And I can see some uh, other animals through there as well. So I wonder if any of the pets are actually hidden in there as well. Now you need the level 100 tree, so once you get the level 100 you can actually create this design. It uses gorillas, there's the actual water ditches, you've got some of the decorative trees that you get from the roadside area just across the road that needs to be opened up as well. Again more statues, you've got those beautiful wagons there as well. And this is where you can see the actual animal beds, they're just tucked behind the trees as well. And again that gorgeous uh, rhino off to the side there. So a very, very nice design, mixing in a lot of the animals as well. I can see rabbits to the left and the right hand there as well. Even a few foxes within this design. It is really, really good. And a lot of effort has gone into creating this. So if you would like to do it, please do so. Uh, like I said though, it's going to cost you quite a bit of coinage, it will cost you quite a few diamonds, but if you are inclined to make a gorgeous tree in the middle of your actual farm, then this is one that I do recommend. Now the farm has some other beautiful design aspects as well, again using the water ditches, using the animal pens, I like the combination here, those dirt path pieces around the outside, machines are being hidden by the trees, which is again a very common practice with a lot of high level players. Specifically interested in this section down here where you've actually got the reindeer, rather unusual aspect there, creates the impression that the uh, actual reindeer are with the horses as well, so I kind of like that as a design feel. Interesting, interesting, interesting. As we slide on over to the area across the road, you'll see nothing has actually been done down here at the moment, so I'm looking forward to seeing this developed at some stage in the future as well. Back over here, you'll see the actual farmland area, again with the golden path pieces around the outside, that will cost you more money every time you purchase it, by the way. So like I said, this is an expensive farm, and if you wanted to do it, you're going to need to build up your coinage and your diamonds as well. But a wonderful use of of those water ditches. I think the water ditches, if anything, were a good addition to the game and I'm glad that Heyday did do it. I'm hoping that they will give us a few more design options in the future. So we got the path, we got the water ditches, now maybe we need something additional as well, but I'll leave the design team to come up with something great on that. 
Right now, as I said, this video is focusing on that gorgeous tree. I like it a lot. I think it's absolutely wonderful. If you would like to copy it, please do so. Again, don't forget to leave comments below the video about your thoughts. Maybe even speculate how much it actually costs to make, because uh, there's a lot of resources there. If you would like to give it a go, let me know as well. If it's not your cup of tea, again, tell me as well. Right, well, that's me, Red, signing off. That's another gorgeous design video looked at and we're going to be looking for some more farms as well so if you've got one let me know and I will head on over and have a look at your design as well don't forget to hit the subscription button make sure you hit that notification button as well and I will see you in my live streams on Tuesday or Friday or in the next video take care have fun and good luck with your derbies everybody bye bye